Hi, I'm Dr. Russell Stoneback. I'm an assistant professor of physics here at the University of Texas at Dallas. I started playing music when I was in college at UT Austin, so I was probably in my second year, I think. Uh, and then I just started listening to music, um, uh, developing a big interest, and at the same time I was supporting myself through school by doing some construction work, so I ended up trying to do, combine both of those things together. So I had actually graduated school and this was sitting on my desk at home. So I was right next to my computer and every day I would <clears throat> I could see and look at it and uh, I would tell people how it's like a guitar or you know the physics behind it is similar to a normal guitar uh, but I hadn't actually made the the leap yet that it was that it could produce music even though it wasn't sound waves uh, and that it actually was a guitar not just like one um, but somebody asked me one day how, how I played it and I, I pretty much had the eureka moment just right there with the question I was like yeah it's so much like a guitar, it is a guitar, of course, and then uh, I kind of everything changed once I had that thought. So. The regular acoustic guitar uses a resonance of sound waves on the inside acoustic waves to produce sounds, uh, and those sounds are, are produced by strings that interact with the body, and the body resonates and it creates resonances inside. Uh, and, and a guitar like this, instead of using sound waves, it uses electromagnetic waves. Um, but in a uh, um, but these waves resonate in a way that's very similar to like sound waves do. So there's there's differences because it's a different physical field, but basically I've taken each element inside a normal instrument and I've replaced it here with an electromagnetic equivalent. So like an acoustic guitar would moves, but on this guitar it's electricity. So it's actually the resonance of electricity in the face of this guitar that produces the E and M waves that then resonate in the body, which then come out um, as music. It's much harder to launch a new idea than I ever really expected. So when I had that, that idea about using light waves to make music and stuff, I thought um, it would be fairly straightforward. Everybody would be like, wow, that's amazing, let's build one. You know, fame and money would, would flow. Uh, <laughs> but it's been, you know, like almost 15 years now since I first had this idea. So that, that didn't quite happen. So um, you need a lot of persistence uh, if you want to do something new. You need to handle rejection. Uh, a lot of rejection is going to come along the way, uh, but that's okay. Uh, um, and you got to try to be yourself as much as possible because if you're going to be doing something different, it requires so much kind of extra effort to deal with being something new or very unexpected that if you're going to invest all that energy, I think you need to do something that you're really passionate about.